In today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the best ZBrush plugins that you can use right now to improve your sculpting workflow, UV mapping, cloth design, and many other stuff. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's start with UV Pro, which is exactly about what the name suggests, an add-on that deals with UV unwrapping inside ZBrush, which is the boring process that we have to go through first to be able to texture your 3D models. You know, ZBrush without question is the best 3D sculpting software, no doubt about that, but when it comes to UV unwrapping, not so much. Now, I don't know about you, but for me personally, I always found that doing UVs in ZBrush is kinda weird. It almost feels like the software was never meant for this work. However, you can forget about all that and enjoy a fast and easy way to create stunning UVs thanks to UV Pro. So instead of that chaos, this add-on regroups all the UV functionalities of ZBrush into a small simple side menu, with all the essential tools organized and easily accessible from one place. For example, you have buttons for seams drawing, switching from 3D to 2D modes, editing and repairing UV maps, and many other stuff. Well, it is true that this add-on doesn't offer something new in theory, however, Regrouping all these tools in one place is gonna save you a lot of time. So if you want a smooth and efficient workflow, this is gonna be a great start. On a similar note, we have an add-on called Multi-Render, which allows you to render multiple images and then export them at once. I know it doesn't look exciting on paper, but this is the very same reason that makes Multi-Render a good choice. I think it is safe to say that we all don't like the idea of rendering, at least the lame part of waiting for hours and getting bored while doing that. Then we are forced to manually pick the directory where we want to save our images each time, as well as having to name them. This doesn't have to be the case though. To avoid this hassle, this add-on comes to the rescue by giving you the luxury to pick and render any of the six image slots of its menu and then we could either save them all at once or delete them to take new ones. Imagine yourself as a ZBrush user who extensively sculpts and renders on the software, especially if you do it every day. This can save you some seconds, and accumulatively over days is gonna save you hours and time that you can save to do other things. That's why this add-on can represent a helping hand. The next add-on on this list is called Poses Manager. Just on a side note, all the add-ons on this list, I mean on today's video, are created by the same artist. And something I really like about them is how we can directly tell what they do just from their names alone. And Poses Manager is no different. With the help of this add-on, we can save and load up to 10 different poses of the character within the same file. And this is done by simply setting up the pose and then clicking save. And the best part is that the details you sculpt after that can be applied to all the poses. And in the world of creating characters, anatomy is without a question one of the most important aspects, if not the most important, at least in my opinion. And through this add-on, you as an artist can explore different poses while still sculpting to make sure that they can be as natural and as expressive as possible. But this comes with a cost. According to the online reviewers of this tool, we can find complaints about the poses not working properly sometimes. When we put that into consideration, I think it is important to always have a backup file in case things go wrong. Other than that, it is a very good add-on. Now, if you want a one-click add-on that can improve the details of any 3D model instantly, then you have Model Enhancer. It is a straightforward tool that can take, for example, a low resolution character and in a short period of time, you can sharpen the details to add extra level of realism to it. To contrast this effect, there is also another button on the menu, I mean the menu of the add-on and it is called Denoise. And what it does is, it smooths out the details of the 3D object with just one click, which is interesting. And the idea behind it is that, by mixing these two together, we will be able to achieve a balanced level of detail. Now let's talk about Torrent Pro, an add-on for ripping close, no pun intended. 
traditionally, this process is a nightmare for 3D artists. I mean, how do you even do it? But one way I could think about is simulation. However, there needs a lot of brain power to figure out how to do it in addition to the need of a powerful computer. Then the other alternatives is to use the manual methods, such as sculpting or modeling. But this is gonna be very technical and needs a lot of skills and practice to figure out how to do it and make it look realistic. And if you are not a fan of any of that, or if you simply don't have the patience for it all, then this add-on called Torn Pro can help you do that. Or if you simply don't have the patience for it, then you are in the right place. All you have to do is to draw the part where you want to cut and it does the work like magic. We also have full control over the destroyed threads. I mean around the cuts with the help of a side menu. We have things like threads count, height, width and direction. Next we have real time hair. If you've been keeping up with our recent videos, then you might get a sense of deja vu here because this hair add-on is similar in spirit to a 3ds max add-on that we already covered anyway creating realistic hair in zbrush or in any other software with sculpting can be very tricky i mean a human head on average has around a hundred thousand hairs and there is no way all those can be created manually so the creative way real-time hair addresses this issue is by generating all those hair at once let me explain. Within the tool, you have a bunch of sliders, or you can pick, for instance, how many hairs you want, the length, width, and the curling level. But let's slow down a bit, because what this add-on generates isn't only hair, but rather rectangular looking shapes that you can then add realistic hair textures to. Things such as afro, wavy, or long hair. As a matter of fact, you can even brush it just like how we would do it in real hair. Now, why does it use these rectangular shapes, you might ask? It's all about optimization, because with this method, our models would have fewer number of polygons, making them work better for things like video games or applications that need to run in real time. Next, we're gonna talk about an add-on called Stylized Face Creator. Once again, the idea is very simple. It is a character generation tool within ZBrush, just like MetaHuman of Unreal Engine, but for stylized characters for this type. I know that the entire reason for ZBrush's existence is to sculpt with it, and so having a character generation add-on within the software kind of defies its purpose in a sense. But if we exclude this point of view, which I understand, we would be left with an impressive add-on for instant stylized character generation which can be useful in so many ways. For example, you can use it as a face for a character within a game or as a base mesh to build on it, which is the first thing that came to my mind. And just like MetaHuman, Stylized Face Creator consists of a collection of sliders. Sliders that we can use to adjust and edit anything and everything about the heads by simply moving them around. For instance, we have a slider to adjust the chin, the fat, or how young the character is. In theory, it offers the ability to generate endless faces with even a random face creation button to get characters done quickly. Last but not least, if you are not a fan of the first close tiering add-on, we got you covered. How about another one known as Tornit? But what is different about it you might ask? Well, this time there are no customization options because all you need to do is draw the part where you want to cut and simply click toward it for the cut to happen and the threads to be generated. Other than this, the two tools in principle offer the same things, and they are equally as good. I mean, they are made by the same developer after all. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons or plugins, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative as usual. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.